Tyler Feldman here at Beaver Stadium where it is a student-wide gold out in an effort to raise awareness for Thon and pediatric cancer. With that being said, it's already week 10 of college football play between the 4-3 and three Penn State Nittany Lions and the 3-4 and four Illinois Fighting Illini. Both teams are coming off of lopsided losses last week against arguably the two best teams in the Big Ten. On the one side is Penn State who returns home to Happy Valley following a, a 63-14 beatdown on the road against Urban Meyer's prolific Ohio State Buckeyes. On the other hand is Illinois, who got embarrassed at home 42-3 against a defensively strong Michigan State team. Illinois head coach Tim Beckman and his fighting Illini are still in search of elusive Big Ten victory number one. The Nittany Lions under head coach Bill O'Brien are 5-1 in games following a loss. We'll look to see here today if Penn State can move to 6-1 in games following a loss under head coach Bill O'Brien and improve to 2-2 two two in the Big Ten. Penn State started out the game hot, scoring on their very first drive. A 47-yard pass from Christian Hackenberg to Allen Robinson put the Nittany Lions in great scoring position. The opening drive was capped off with a 5-yard Bill Belton touchdown run, putting the Nittany Lions ahead 7 to nothing. Penn State then went up 14 to nothing over the Fighting Illini to start the second quarter thanks to a 9-yard touchdown run by Christian Hackenberg, who snuck between two defenders to dive in for the score. Penn State's defense kept Illinois in check in the first half keeping the Fighting Illini out of the end zone and allowing only a field goal. A pleased Bill O'Brien and his Nittany Lions walked off the field and into the locker room leading 14-3. As the rain started to fall, both teams started out the second half sluggish. It wasn't until early in the fourth quarter when Illinois was stopped on fourth and one on Penn State's four-yard line thanks to a big play from linebacker Mike Hall that Penn State became re-energized. After two second-half Illinois scores, Penn State kicker Sam Thicken converted a 35-yard field goal late in the fourth quarter to tie the game at 17. Penn State's defense made some big plays down the stretch, including an Anthony Zettel sack to send the game into overtime. In the first overtime, Christian Hackenberg connected with his tight end Kyle Carter on 3rd and 11 for a 15-yard touchdown pass. Following the score, not only was the Penn State sideline fired up, but so was Beaver Stadium and the Penn State fans. On Illinois' first play from scrimmage in overtime, quarterback Nathan Shieldhouse's pass was intercepted in the end zone by Penn State's senior safety Ryan Kaiser to seal the 24-17 victory for the Nittany Lions. I told the team in the locker room right now that uh, congratulations on the win. I'm really happy for you, but I, I do believe we can be a better football team. And you heard it there, the Penn State Indy Lions survive a scare at home against Illinois in a 24-17 victory in overtime thanks to a Christian Hackenberg touchdown pass to tight end Kyle Carter. The Indy Lions will look to continue their winning ways as they travel to Minneapolis, Minnesota next weekend. Reporting in State College, I'm Tyler Feldman, PSN News.